Hey yo! From AI image generation to AI video, we have been pay attention to all latest release and hype of any new diffusion models in Hugging Face and ready to download it in the next minute they release. But how about this one? A tool for create story and turn it to video with just a text prompt. Is this really a true tool we can rely on for video production or just another AI hypes? Let's check it out. Hello everyone. Okay, I got this LTX Studio Early Access Beta account and just logged in here. It's a brand new account and I'm excited to do a quick recording with you guys and try out this LTX Studio for AI video generation. I haven't touched any setup yet, just created the account, logged in, and this is a fresh new dashboard. So first of all, LTX Studio claims that they're able to utilize AI models and create storytelling videos using simply one single prompt and the system will handle everything for you. Their tools aren't specially trained AI models for AI video generate, like we previously saw with Pika Labs or Runway ML Gen 2, those kinds of AI video generators with their own trained diffusion models. But LTX Studio does have a combination of different models. So let's check out the website here. I know a lot of other YouTube channels have mentioned LTX Studio on their website and YouTube promo videos before, but they don't really show what's inside the dashboard here or the process of creating things. But from their previews, it kind of looks like stable diffusion videos, some kind of model like that. And I'm curious why there's so much hype around this tool. Because, you know, there's nothing too special if we're just using stable diffusion to generate motion videos or short clips. But then, when I look further, I see that they've also utilized large language models to create scenes with further descriptions to describe the characteristics in the stories. Like, for example, in this one, they have consistent hairstyles and consistent faces for specific characters, even though they have different outfits. Of course, you're not going to wear one t-shirt every single day. So it's normal to have different outfits, but for the face, body shapes, hairstyles, and even the personality characteristics of the characters, you can customize those yourself. So this is the power of combining different AI models together and using that to generate multimedia stuff, right? For example, right now we're entering the age of AI video generation. You know, back in previous years, we were still hyped about AI images. And now we're going towards AI videos. Like Soros recently making so much noise about their ultra-realistic AI models. And, you know, let's try out LTX Studio. As I would say, you don't treat these tools as AI models that they've trained themselves. You should view this studio software as a multiple model management tool that allows you to create everything in one streamlined workflow. I was trying to achieve this goal with Comfy UI, creating different workflows. Previously, I have mentioned using large language models to create story scenes, then transforming that information into stable diffusion videos. You guys can check out that workflow diagram in Comfy UI that I made for doing that. But that didn't handle things like character consistency and the steps for creating specific character styles, which LTX Studio seems specialized for. So let's check it out right now. In here, it says, type your frame ideas or full script. This frame is about, uh, let's say uh, we have a comic book or graphic novel. For example, in previous videos, we talked about one conspiracy comic book from an author in Japan, talking about how she dreamed about the future and disasters that will be happening. The one called The Future I Saw. So maybe I'll try using that comic and creating a story around the tsunami that was predicted to happen in 2025 from this comic book. Just a simple prompt telling the AI to use the Japanese comic The Future I Saw by that author and create a story about the tsunami that will happen in 2025 from this comic book. Maybe just a very simple prompt like that to get the AI started. And let's see what happens, you know. This is the first time I'm doing this and I haven't touched anything in the setup before. So let's see what will happen. Okay, so the story overview has come up. This is about a fisherman, this guy. 
and it's foreshadowing a tsunami hitting his coastal town in 2025. With the help of a marine biologist, they convinced the town to prepare, and the tsunami struck. Their unity saved lives. Yeah, so that's really cool. Based on the comic book The Future I Saw and the predicted tsunami happening in 2025, it created a side story about what happened in one town in Japan. So far, the character it generated looks pretty good and I haven't modified anything yet, so it will be using the face of the character. You can edit the face as well. Yeah, you can upload your own image for the character's face here if you don't like this one or that one. Or you can click the edit button to, you know, provide some more prompts about the characters in the story. I like it so far. It's pretty good overall. Yeah, so you can also click what I believe is the regenerate button, though it doesn't have a label, just an icon. And you can regenerate, clone, or delete these characters as well. Okay, but based on the overall story overview, we need these two characters. So I won't delete them for this demo. I just want to click once and let the AI run everything itself to see how good LTX Studio is at handling the large language model and collaborating that information into the diffusion models for creating the story. And also, it may use AI-generated sound effects or background music, I'm not sure yet, but hopefully we'll see something like that in the generated result. So again, we have different scenes laid out here. Scene 1 has the settings, locations, and soft lighting details defined already. It's good that it's already outlined the locations, cinematic light effects for this scene, and what kind of environment atmosphere will be present. As you can see, there are currently three scenes listed on the right. Okay. This one has two scenes, and I believe they're generating something similar to stable diffusion videos, but then they'll likely use like two to four second animation clips, combining a few of those short clips together to compose one longer scene. That's what I believe is happening right now, at least. I'm not totally sure yet, so this time let's just click run preview once and see what happens. Okay, so it says our project is in the queue. Pretty easy process so far. Yeah, see that whole UI where you can drag and drop scenes, download, etc. Okay, each scene is broken down into different shots. There we go, more shots playing through now. And let's see, it's generating the first 39 second story clip here. Let me mute myself and we can listen. I'm Akira, a fisherman who's always felt the ebb and flow of the ocean in my bones. When I dreamt of the tsunami that would hit our town in 2025, I knew I had to act. But convincing the town was a challenge. With my scientific evidence and our unwavering determination, we rallied the community to prepare. As the day approached, fear gripped us, but we stood united. When the tsunami struck, our town was devastated, but we had made it to safety. Our bond and foresight saved lives. Okay, so this is a pretty short video clip. It doesn't do like a 10 minute or half hour long narrative movie scene, but it does combine multiple short diffusion clips together into a concise storytelling scene, like we've seen with stable diffusion video tools before. I was a bit skeptical trying this tool out at first. Like, is this really great for creating narrative videos for YouTube, like horror stories, comedy skits, etc? Can you really fulfill that kind of requirement with a tool like this? And I guess it is okay for fulfilling a certain level of need when using AI video generation tools. But if you want to go further and deeper, like if you already have a full story script with characters saying very specific dialogue and actions described in detail, then this kind of tool can't really fulfill that deeper level of requirement for video creation if I'm not just going for this 39 second clip but want to make like a 10 minute documentary talking about this future I saw comic book with animated character scenes of the tsunami hitting the town and people running from disasters. We can't really control and direct the AI models that specifically using just a tool like this. We're limited to these one click hands off style story generations based on a short text prompt. Because at the beginning here, that's what it says. 
just give it a short text prompt to create a video about that concept. For example, here they have some other predefined random prompts like a software engineer gets trapped in a virtual reality game and so on. Maybe we can try one of those as well. That will give it more of a sci-fi style with computer game backgrounds for the story. Yeah, futuristic stories like that. But what I'm trying to say is that when we're starting to create a narrative, sometimes I wish there was a more advanced interface where I could provide my own story script lines and scene description details. Maybe I've already generated that in ChatGPT or somewhere else or even written it myself. I could then input those scripts into this AI tool and it could help generate the character renders, summarize story backgrounds, and create the full atmosphere and scene setups, etc. Yeah, I want something that allows more advanced control in these tools, and hopefully they'll add that capability, because right now, from what I'm showing, this is a very simple UI interface. As you can see, there's only a text prompt field at the beginning. You click Generate and it's just completely hands-off. The AI generates the entire storyline and scene descriptions for you with not much control over the output. That's kind of a drawback for me if I really want to use this for creating something specific, but you can at least add extra story scenes and different shot animations when in the storyboard editor here. You can use this add button to keep adding new scenes at different timestamps like 51 seconds, 61 seconds, 71 seconds, and so on. You can do that as well. But for me, if I already have the storyline and story content written out, I want to just copy and paste it somewhere and have the tool more intelligently generate detailed scenes based on that direction. That's something I'd like to see in a future update of this tool. But so far, I'll give it like 3.5 out of 5 stars for this first beta version of the tool. If I had to review it right now, I'd give it 3.5 out of 5 stars overall. Yeah, so maybe there will be some bigger updates in the future. I'm not sure yet. I've never actually contacted the company directly. I just got invited to their Discord group and got access to try out this beta. So this isn't a sponsored video at all. It's just my own unbiased review playing around with these tools today. There are more settings options beyond what I showed, but the way I want more advanced settings is not just focusing on things like camera panning, motions, and stable diffusion clips. I want to be able to provide more intricate details, like if a character is talking here, I want to input the actual script lines that character is saying, and then in the next shot, it will focus on another character replying based on what the first character said that kind of detailed narrative direction rather than just very generic camera pans and short video clips. Maybe they'll add something more robust like that to enhance it and make it feel closer to movie quality production quality. Hopefully, they can have more advanced capabilities like that in the future. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you the preview of the second example story I just generated. So let's check that out and I'll comment on it. I never thought a virtual reality game could trap me in a world of digital enigmas. Navigating the hyper-realistic landscapes of Elysium, I found an unexpected ally in Iris the game's AI. Together, we unraveled the game's true purpose, to redefine the boundaries of reality itself. As we delved deeper, we uncovered a conspiracy that blurred the lines between the virtual and the real, with Iris by my side, I used my software expertise to outsmart the mastermind, breaking free from the confines of Elysium and forever changing the course of virtual reality gaming. Okay, so I missed something in the previous steps. You actually have to click the generate button to make the image transform into an animation. Well, I can't really say this is a true video. This is only like little one or two second motion loops. And they just combine all these short one to two second clips into a longer storytelling sequence. That's all I can really say about this. 
you know, I don't want to overhype things when this comes out and say, oh, this is so exciting and stuff like that. I mean, we can do very similar things in Comfy UI already. We had workflows before for transforming large language model text prompts into individual scenes rendered in stable diffusion. And we could create something quite comparable. In terms of consistency across scenes, let's be honest, if you guys have used stable diffusion in Comfy UI and played around with animating those outputs, you can absolutely maintain character consistency without any problems. That's not some special unique capability of this new tool. And you know, seeing their commercials and all the advertisements hyping up how you can change a character's outfit into different colors and styles like that, well, it's okay, I guess. But yeah, we could already do that level of outfit variation in Comfy UI 2 by predefining character images with their face, body shape, outfits, etc. We can generate all those character images up front for each variation. Then we can use techniques like face swapping, Jart Laura, or IP adapter to apply those pre generated outfits to each scene, maintaining consistency or swapping between styles even more easily than what I'm seeing in this tool. It's like right here, they already have the character in a blue bodysuit in one shot, but then a black suit in another shot within this same sequence. So if we're really talking about true consistency across a full narrative, this outfit swapping approach doesn't seem ideal, and some of the scene outputs are honestly a bit disappointing in quality to me. Look at this one blurry shot, for example. It doesn't make much sense if we zoom out to the bigger picture, like this lightning effect. It should spark for just a second or two and then be gone, right? Everyone understands lightning doesn't persist for longer than that in reality. But here, if you look closely, the lightning bolt itself stays stuck in the frame while only the rain is animating and moving. It just doesn't look natural or make logical sense. So I'd still only give this a 3.5 out of 5 overall for this beta version. You know, in their commercials, on Twitter and such, I remember them really hyping up the ability to generate different character outfits as some huge selling point. But yeah, of course you can do that level of variation. It's not that fancy or revolutionary of an AI capability yet with the current state of the art. Like in this example they've shown, they are just using what appears to be a single stable diffusion model checkpoint to generate all these characters in a similar style. They haven't unlocked the ability to fluidly switch between radically different art styles or model bases yet from what I can tell. So it's something we could arguably already do better in Comfy UI ourselves. If this tool eventually turns into a paid subscription service, would I recommend Comfy UI veterans and longtime viewers of Diffusion content to subscribe? Probably not, to be honest. If you've been following the workflows and custom nodes that myself and other stable Diffusion content creators have covered, you can likely already replicate or exceed this tool's current capabilities within Comfy UI. And a lot of this new tool's hyped up futuristic UI for generating videos is kind of overhyped in my opinion. Like if you look at the interface here, it's just text prompts rendered as these tiled bricks. There's no fancy viewport or visual scripting yet. I even tried switching it to a dark mode theme, but there's no settings for that included so far. It really feels like some over-marketed vaporware experience by an aggressive marketing agency at this point. As someone who has done my fair share of marketing work in the past, I can kind of see through those tactics and the attempts to overhype the present capabilities. So yeah, that's my take on this new AI storytelling tool for now. It's an interesting proof of concept for the future, but doesn't yet deliver anything revolutionary that can't be matched or exceeded by dedicated comfy UI stable diffusion enthusiasts, in my opinion. But I'll certainly keep an eye on how it evolves and report back if anything drastically changes. Alright, that's it for this review, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.